Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Puka Kohei Park Raceway for the second race of the doubleheader. Field has been inverted. It's Alexander Rowe and Keith Rich on the front row with Keith Cole Deaver and Nate Rogers in row two. Derek Hamill, Ace Rogers, row three. Matthew Rodriguez will perish row four with Andrew Rich and Diego Yepes in row five. My boy Vince is back with me. And we're ready to see if we can get another first-time winner on the season. Guys look threatening, Zach. This could be a very more chaotic race than we had the first time. That's saying a lot. Cashier's all the way in the back with the inversion. I feel like a first-time winner is going to happen. I just think the front rows are too stacked with newbies. But we'll see. We see Oscar in there, Seth Cole. Maybe somebody can pull a surprise. And I think just you've got to be careful. Don't overrun the S's. And that's the biggest problem right there. You overrun that first complex of S's. You go into the grass. It's nice. Yes, indeed. And so Shearer and Oscar in row 16, starting 31st and 32nd. There you see the drivers who... DNF along with Logan York who finished two laps down. A big, big, tough break for guys like Sack Flickinger and Quentin Moore who maybe would have had a shot at a win on the inversion or a shot at the win on the first race. As now the points battle is looking really intense for that 10th place spot. So go to look at the points. Shelton now only holds, Shelton now holds a 20 five-point advantage over Nate Rogers, but she has fallen to ninth. Nico Tringali's got a 29-point advantage up in eighth. Alexander Rowe is only four, six, uh, four points ahead of Nate Rogers for 10th in the standings. It's the final playoff spot, as we'll get to more of that after the command to fire engines. So Nate, four points back of Alexander Rowe. They start there first and fourth. Cole Deaver, who starts in third, is 16 points behind Rowe. Andrew Rich, who starts 10th, he is 18 points behind Rowe. And then Quinton Moore now, he is 54 points back. Sack Flickinger is 77 back, and then it's a 55-point jump to Keith Rich. So anyone Keith Rich on down has got a win. Kev Shear jumped up to 21st in the points. So as it stands, we will have 11 drivers in the playoffs. We've got this race here, and then we had the Canada for Pick Stadium and Pick's Creek Super Speedway. Likely going to see a new winner maybe at both of those tracks. Pick Stadium is known to be a bit of a crazy race. Pig's Creek, for sure, we might see another wild card winner. But Charles Sanford took the points lead for reals after the first race yesterday. He has a 22-point advantage over Fitzwater, 26 over Zorlin, 42 over Rain, and 61 over Samet Oskin, who jumped to the top five in points. Oskin, Zorlin, Fitzy, and Sanford all have 15 top tens on the season. Will any of them get top ten number 16 today? He flies in the air. Alexander wrote great start. Minor P's and Q's, but here we go into this essence. Who runs wide? Who goes three wide? Oh, Deaver made contact go. with Keith Rich, but they kept it together. And it looks like everybody kept it together. Not a oh, single boy. driver. And that means this turn is going to be insane. Here we go. Get your uh, hard hats on. And it's going to start with Parrish and William Brock, Sam oh Young, on Jack Bishop up in the air. And it is Everyone's a pile up. Nico Tringali's got heavy damage. Priya McShane with heavy damage. Rain, Young. Dylan Young. Oh, Charles Seth, Sanford. Oh, oh, where's everyone oh, go? Oh, oh, oh this oh, is. Oh, oh Seth oh. Flickinger. Sam Young aborted. Oh, God. Why well, in the middle of track? Watch out. Adam Flickinger is destroyed. This is going to be a lap to look back at. But I would like to say that it looks like it's down, cars. down to the top Good 11. Ball. William Brock, Lane Sanders, Andrew Rich, Matthew Rodriguez, Diego Yepes, Nate Rogers, Ace Rogers, Hamill, Keith Rich, Deaver, Rowe. 
Deaver's gonna get sent by Keith. But he can't get anything to bite. Clouds came in here today. Rich has a little bit of front nose damage. Onjack got jacked up, but he looks fine. Kev Shear's got heavy back end damage, but he has made it into the top 20. He needs. There is Samet Oskin in 20th. Quentin Moore survived. Zorlin survived. Rain survived. Shelton with heavy back end damage as Sam Young has been destroyed. You see Fitzwater without a hood. They might have missed Pit Road. I, I don't know. I see someone else's bath. Flickinger? That's Adam Flickinger. We saw oh, him. I'm, right not, I'm not sure what happened to Sam Young. Sam Young must have got wrecked somewhere else. Oh my. As they're already dealing with lap traffic in the form of Priya McShane. Oh, and Deaver. Cole's got to be careful. Deaver. Deaver's going to lose second to Derek Hamill. Out of the race, Charles Sanford. Amanda Evans, Jesse Turner, Nico Tringali, Sack Flickinger, Seth Cole, Dylan Young. So Seth and Dylan Young, man, they do not like New Zealand this weekend. Matthew Rodriguez came into this race 15 points ahead of Priya McShane for the top 30 bubble. McShane was in a crash. Adam Flickinger was in a crash. So if he can just hold the top 10, I think he's going to hold on to the top 30 heading into Pig Stadium. As James Ellison is without a front end. Sam Young and Adam Flickinger are done. Ellison has no front end or back end. It's clear for second. It's Lane. Roe versus Hamill. Lane Sanders has some front end damage too. Nate Rogers trying to get by Keith Rich. That's for fourth. Deaver's going to get by McShane. As Rowe leads the race. Derek Hamill in second. He comes in. 44th in the points. Can't do much. It went for him. Don't mean nothing. A win is still a win though, Vince. It would be his first yeah. career win. It means something. It means something for his career, but for the, for the playoff pitcher, I don't I don't think it I highly doubt it. Oh yes, no for sure. Yeah, that's what I meant to say, my bad. But for the oh, three wide back there. That's Brock, Yepes, and Ellison. So on Jack Ba all on his own in twelfth. Parrish thirteenth, Bishop fourteenth, McIntyre fifteenth, Kukulon gonna go up to sixteenth here. Oskin has made it up to, I believe, 18th now as he's racing with Quentin Moore. So Quentin and Zorlin are on the charge. As Hamill has really closed the gap to Alexander Rowe. A Cole Deaver went on the other hand. That might watch out, Oskin. Oh! <laughs> and Hamill is going for the lead on Alexander Rowe. I can't believe it. Hamill let... wins this race. Maybe he needs a better ride. <laughs> maybe, that's, maybe he's in for one of those contention for the rides. Oh, this is Go Fast Racing. Their first season as a team since 2017. They merged with Petty and Front Row into 2018. And then that team later got renamed to Evans Gardner Motorsports. And then EGM this year, or actually last year, EGM released the assets of Front Row. Front Row became their own thing again. Now they're a Dodge team after the success they had in 2020. Petty became a thing again last year. They had great success. And now this year, Go Fast has returned, and they've returned with a truck team too. And that has been made possible because Derek Hamill wanted to drive for this team. So I don't think Derek will be going anywhere anytime soon. It's in the back there, as you saw 3 wide, but it looks like Rowe just doesn't have the edge grip on that last sector. Now it's all constant teeing up. Well, it's a top four battle, and any one of these top four will get their first one of the year if they get it done. So it looks like Kev has been down pit road. Oh, the. 51 of Allison Rain has had an issue. She will finish 33rd. And that is a tough break to her weekend. 
Kev Shearer is down in 28th. Sorlin's up to 22nd. Mentioned Moore and Austin inside the top 20. Hamill trying to look for a way by Rowe, but now Deaver's challenging for second. Deaver to the left side there. Will he complete Cole's, the pass? Cole's got to be careful here into his S's. You don't want to oh, skate off. And... Looks like we had a wreck on the front straightaway. Those are never good. Deaver will pinch Hamill, give himself the preferred line. This is letting Rowe drive away. Hamill's actually going to clear and merge back in front for second. Fastest lap on the race goes to Nate Rogers, a 50.399. Alexander Rose, best time is a 9.63. Nate is shoving Cole Deaver through the hairpin. Cole nearly gets hurt there. Remember what happened at Richmond. Nate Rogers looked very strong. Looked like he was going to get the first win of the year. And then lap cars took him out of it. Everyone's favorite. But here we go. Cole Deaver, Rogers for the podium spot right now. Nate so looks Rogers fast, but they've got to be careful here. And I Nate's yeah. going to go. Maybe not yet. Hamill trying to close back in on Rowe as they battle for third. Keith is in fifth. Keith Rich, that is. Ace Rogers, sixth. Matt Rod, still seventh. As McShane is a lap down. Still racing up here with him. Lane Sanders, man, in eighth. Brock in ninth, and Yepa is tenth, as Rich has fallen outside the top ten to eleventh. Still no luck for Andrew Rich on finding victory lane, Vince. We're heading to the Pig Stadium next. He's won there before. As Hamill has closed it right back up to Rowan. As we hit lap 11, Vince, I mean, I really think Hamill, Nate, or Deaver could win this race. It doesn't look like Rowe has the race-winning pace. No, he don't have it. And I was just going to say, maybe because it's quiet, they're not sliding off today. There's more grip in the track. Onjak is still just by himself in 12th. Actually, no, he's racing Parrish for 12th. Quentin Morris up to 16th, Austin 17th, Sorlin in 21st, Shelton, Landon Smith Jr., Kev Shear with damage, Hamid is on pit road, boy, Christian Vargas retired, it looks like he was involved in something, so more DNFs today than yesterday, but I think about the same amount of incidents to go over. Especially that lap one, kaboom. But right now, the Alexander Rope just doesn't have the edge grip compared to Hamill. I think it's a matter of time, but they better start moving because Rodgers is closing. Nate Rodgers got by for third, but he is not running super fast. Hamill seems to be the one who's got the edge. He's all Lappers. over the bumper of Rowe. Laura Chung, Fitzwater are going to come in. Sorlin has come to pit road for something. That's a tough break for his day. He's taking tires there, so I don't know if that'll help him dice through the field or not. But now, Let's see, last time by... Nate Rogers and Deaver were two tenths faster than the top two. If they can keep that up, they'll get to them before the end of the race. He is the savior stuff if you're in third and fourth. Because that's the best way to do it, not put the pressure to save your stuff and get to the last three, four laps. Because we know who's coming up. The Chung, right? Or Chung's coming, so yep. and Nate is doing Nate is doing a good job not letting Deaver get to his bumper because if he gets out of whack. That could kill any momentum they have. As Hamill is just all over row. The 9 and the 3 definitely look like they're close. And let's see what the difference is here. Yep, another tenth and a half there for the 9. 10 laps to go there at the line. If Laura Chong or Fitzwater hold these guys up, it's game on. 
Nate is continuously just pulling away from Deaver. I'm not sure where they're going to catch Sean, but it could be in the S's next lap. Hamilton's starting to lose a little bit off yeah. exit. As we've seen all season, the longer the run goes, the rookies tend to seem to get a little tighter than the veterans. He had a pretty good run out of the hairpin there, though. The line roll, roll messed up that time. Now, now Rodgers has got to be within 1.3, 1.2. It's down to 1.24 indeed. Another almost three tenths that time by as he continues to inch away from Cole Deaver. It's so hard to pass with the draft here. Now, oh boy. Oh, and Andrew Rich has had an issue. He has come to pit row to, to get rid of his hood. That's not what they wanted. The nightmare continues for Andrew Rich. On Jack's what now, can Rome do? On Jack's up to 11th. Will Parrish has disappeared. I think he came down pit road. It looks like a lot of people with front end damage vents are just saying the heck with it. We're coming down and we're getting rid of this thing. It's hard to see. Turbulent air. Chung, it's going to help the chasing pack behind. Chung got a little loose. Did Ro make a move here? How much does Nate close the gap that time by another near two tenths? Oh, got cut off with the air too. That's going to help Nate. Oh, Ro and had. Deaver. Bro had the checkup for Chung. Nate's there. Nate is there. Derek is there. This could be big into the garage dump. Bro's going to move to the right side of Chung down the straightaway. So we'll handle. Now the question is can Nate get by Chung without being held up? Hamill will be to her right side. Nate will go to her right side as well. Shouldn't even be a problem. Oh no, he checked up. That might be a problem. Hey. He's looking to the right side again. He's getting a little slidey there. Nate's old ride, right? If I'm not mistaken. That is correct. Drove the Red oh, Bull 83 boy. for three years. Nate's going to lose about a few tenths there because he can't get by the 83. Next one up ahead. Is that Fitzy? That is Fitzy. Oh, how ironic. <laughs> man who hates the lap cars, what will he do to change the outcome of this race, maybe? Nate just getting to the right side of Chung. It looks like Deaver's car has kind of faded off a bit. Nate will complete the pass on the 83. Hey, what? Nate held, though, for passing a lap car. He held pretty well. He Hamill. held really well, actually. Hamill is all over the bumper of Row yet again. And Nate, Nate gained time. Nate wow. gained a ton of time that lap. I don't know if Row is just really driving these tires off. That was six to go there at the start finish line. I don't think Row's driving the tires off rather than Row's just in that turbulent air of Fitzwater. And that's what it is. Turbulence is big at this place, it's very tight. They might still catch. I don't think they're going to catch the 23, but they definitely will catch the double zero, I think. As it looks like Lane Sanders has made a visit to pit road, that has let Onjack jump into the top 10. Oh, Hamill! Oh, no! Hamill just about turned Alexander Rowe, and Nate Rogers is there! Hamill to the lead! Rogers to second, now it's on. Oh, not quite yet. Rowe's going to clear back for second. This is what Hamill needs, because if Rowe's not the quickest car, Riders has got to get by now. We know Hamill's got the pace. Deaver will clear Laura Chung, but I don't think he has the pace. But it may not matter, though, because Fitzwater's coming, and that could cost the team things back up again. Yeah, Rose, Rose seems to be better following than leading. That's interesting. Maybe it was that Fitzwater wake we talked about. Nate Rogers has got a huge run. Can he make a move here for second? I'm going to say yes, but he's going to push might. him. Oh, he's going to really push him. He pushes him into Hamill. Whoo, buddy. That's how you get closer. Now everyone's within two tenths. Rose got front end damage now from that. That's how hard Nate pushed him into the 32. Doesn't seem to be affecting him, though. Fitzwater's wake is hurting Hamill more than uh, it was hurting Rowe. Four laps to go. They might catch Fitzy and Shearer at the same time. Oh, boy, that would be crazy. 
What do you do if you're Ham while rookie trying to get around Fitzwater for the win, really? And really unprecedented. We, like, I knew Hamill... We, we knew Hamill was going to start up front because of the, um... The, the inversion, but I did not expect this car to have this much speed. Not over yet. Look at the run Nate's got. Nate's going for second here. Rowe's going to get Rowe's the bumper to Hamill. Ooh, Nate is right there. That was dicey. Oh. Hamill goes on the rumble strip. Side by side for the lead. Coming the three to go. I don't think Rogers is going to have the run, but he will right here. And now what will Nate Rogers do in clean air? He is clear for the race lead. They're not going to catch Kev Shears. That it's just fits. Oh, who's out there? That is, I want to say, younger Oskin. Cement Oskin. It's Oskin. Tough brand. Oh. He's holding up Deaver. Yeah, it's gonna. Yeah, Deaver is likely going to be looking at a fourth place result here. By the way, uh, Ace Rogers yeah. fifth, Keith Rich sixth. Brock 7th, Matt Rudd 8th, Yep is 9th, and now R.J. Bishop inside the top 10. Peter might have damage. Now, I don't think they're going to catch Kev Shear. It's between Fitzwater and Rogers to sort this out in terms of lap car versus lead lap car. Well, we know a lap car screwed Nate out of a win at Richmond. Hamill's back, though. Wow, what a run. Hamill's been getting amazing runs out of the hairpin. Well, Stop what does this session. mean? What does this mean for Nate Rogers? He's looking at, you know, a win would jump him into the top 10 in points here over Alexander Rowe. But at the same time, if he falls back out of the top 10, the win would lock him into the playoffs. So this is a big, got a good run. big moment for Nate to try and win this race with Rowe right there. Shelton currently sits 17th. Tringali... DNF, he'll finish 39th. Here comes Hamill on the break, second to last time, penultimate time. Nope. Rogers got a better run. Now Fitzy's the question. Oh, they're gonna. Oh, I don't know if they're gonna get to Kev, but Fitzy is at least gonna play a role as far as draft is concerned. White flag in the air for the second race at Pew Kakoe. Fitzy got loose. Rogers got a little looser. Hamill's right there. Rose just staying there. I meant Poo Kakohe, by the way, not Pew. My mistake. It's all good. What has Hamill got here? Second set, there's not a strong point. Fitzy's a little oh. wide. Now Rogers is going to catch him. Hamill swerved it a little bit there. I think he, he shredded some speed there. That's letting Nate inch away. But what does Fitzwater do to this battle? Does Nate stay in line or does he look to the right? He's going to stay oh, in, line. in line. He's going to get right to Fitzwater's back bumper. Ooh, they are loose. I think Rogers has got those as long as Fitzwater doesn't do anything stupid. Through the final corners. He was denied at Richmond in a four wide wreck. But now, redemption. Nate Rogers is a winner in 2021. Welcome to the playoffs, son. I mean, you're definitely locked in no matter what. And that is Nate Rogers' fourth career win in the Digital Storm Cup Series. And his first since 2019. And just think this man last year was the most consistent driver there was. But he ended up second in the regular season points and did not make the playoffs because there were 16 winners. What a consistent season he had last year. Finally back to victory lane here in 2021 Derek Hamill what a day he was so fast today second on the board for him row third Deaver fourth Ace Rogers Keith Rich William Brock Matthew Rodriguez Diego Yepes and RJ Bishop the top 10 Kukulon another solid run in 12th Logan York up, got up to 15th Shelton 17th Quinton Moore, 22nd. Rich, 23rd. Shearer, 24th. Fitzy, 25th. Austin, 26th. Not a good day for any of the big names. Sorlin, 30th. Rain, 33rd. Sanford, 36th. Tringali, 39th. Zach Flickinger, 40th. Seth Cole, 41st. And Dylan Young, 42nd. And I'll tell you what, Vince. Out of everybody top 10 in the points... 
Alexander Rowe was the only one who got a top 10 today. He's definitely looking good for the points that point situation, but what does that Nate win do? He needs two consistent weeks when we get to Canada to, to secure it. Well, if you think about it, Vince, it doesn't really matter because he has a huge gap to 26th in the points. Coming into today's race, Nate had 642 points on the good. season to Sam Young, who had only 404. So he is, there is no way he will fall out of the top 25. So Nate is a lock to the playoffs. It's just a matter of if he'll be top 10 at the end of the regular season or not. All right, that, that's what I meant. Does he need that? I guess you could say, does he need that wild card if he's not top 10? I like to say. All right, well, we've got incidents to look at, so let's get to it. Looking at our lap one incident here. This all started with William Brock and Will Parrish. TV to it will give us a great angle here. And there's the first bump into Yepes. And then it just, you know... Oh, and then there gets Sam Young turned by Ferranti. On Jack gets jacked up by Adam Flickinger. Trey Smith, look at this. Amanda Evans and Charles Sanfer. There's RJ Bishop. Look at Nico Tringali. Oh, my God. Oh, Sanfer. Oh, what in the world is this crash? Oh, my goodness gracious. He yeah, holds your horses right there. That That is on board worthy if I've ever seen it. Oh, man. And the track was just blocked. Well, I was doing some interesting dancing. Same with New York. Dylan Young with heavy front end damage. Same with Rain. Or, well, Rain didn't have a lot at this point, but Young was already done. Seth Cole, you can see to the left of your screen, he's done. And it's just a, a dust field. So let's take an onboard or two. Riding on board with Nico Tringali. Wow. That was a ride. Good strike there. On board with Charles Sanford. Man, imagine getting spun around and seeing a car just filling up your windshield. Tough break to Charles Day. And added measure. Almost forgot about the madness going towards Pit Road. Oh, Jessica Shelton got turned by Sam Young. And then Adam Flickinger turned Sack Flickinger. Oh, what a lick for the 77. And then Adam, I guess, didn't want to pit or something. He's just going to drive right into the wall and shoot across the track. And then another hard impact what? into the it wall. Comes Sam Young. Sam Young is going to, I think, maybe just clip him. Good avoidance, though. And then we're not done yet, so we were wondering why Sam Young was smoking after this lap. We found the answer right here. We'll just play this out. So right going down the hill here. Oh, right there. Contact with Vargas just killed his engine and spun him around. Come Shelton. Shelton driving through the smoke. And that was the lap one shenanigans. This is what happened to Allison Rain. She was racing Trey Smith and the engine just let go. Well, since she got that fourth win at Michigan events, things have not been going well for Allison Rain. Nope. We'll see how we she can... play soon. Yep. We'll see how she does 
at Canada. On to the next clip. Well, Vargas was racing by himself in 27th with already a decent amount of damage. Kev Shear closed up the gap down the long back straight away. And uh, through the hairpin here is just going to hook Vargas to the right. Just kind of leaning on his quarter panel there, and there it goes. And that's what ended Vargas's race right there. Now, what happened to Hamid? Oh, oh wow, where is Hamid's car going? Where is that even at? That is outside of turn one. He's outside the park, is where he's at. What on earth happened here? Oh, contact with Foster Henderson. Oh, Henderson just threw it in and pushed him into the grass. Oh, and he just got it stopped. Oh, the access road there. Oh, but oh, oh. then, oh. then he just oh. didn't know where he was going and ran it into the tires. Okay. Describes this weekend in a nutshell.